Section 1. Introduction. The power of section intros. Writing a good introduction for each section is crucial. It sets the tone and grabs attention. With a strong intro, you can keep your audience hooked. This is true for essays and video scripts alike. Think of each section as a mini essay. It needs a start, a middle, and an end. The start or intro is where you catch the reader's eye. It's your chance to make them want to read or watch more. An engaging intro can make complex topics seem simple. It can also give your audience a reason to care. Whether you're writing or speaking, a good intro is your best friend. Section 2. Why Intros Matter Why do intros matter so much? It's a question worth pondering. They are the first impression, the initial handshake in any interaction. Just like meeting someone new, you want to start off on the right foot. A warm, engaging intro can set the tone for the entire experience. A good intro sets expectations, laying the groundwork for what's to come. It tells the reader or viewer what's coming, providing a roadmap for the journey ahead. It can tease the content in a way that makes them curious, sparking their interest and drawing them in. This curiosity is what keeps them engaged, making them eager to learn more. Without a good intro, they might lose interest quickly, drifting away before the main points are even made. Intros also help to structure your content, giving it a clear and logical flow. They act as signposts, guiding the audience through your work, ensuring they don't get lost along the way. This makes it easier for them to follow along and understand the main points, enhancing their overall comprehension. Finally, a well-crafted intro can boost your credibility, showing that you are knowledgeable and prepared. It shows you know what you're talking about, instilling confidence in your audience. It can also make your content more memorable, leaving a lasting impression. So, take the time to write a good intro for each section. It's an investment that pays off in engagement, clarity, and impact. Section 3. Tips for crafting engaging intros. Start with a hook. This could be a question, a fact, or a story. The goal is to grab attention right away. Make it relevant to the content that follows. This sets the stage for the rest of the section. Keep it short and sweet. An intro should be brief but impactful. You don't want to overwhelm the reader with too much information. Aim for a few sentences that pique interest. Use simple language. Avoid jargon and complex words. This makes your intro accessible to a wider audience. Clear and easy to understand language is more engaging. End with a preview. Give a hint of what's to come. This can be a brief summary of the section. It helps the reader know what to expect and keeps them reading. Section 4. The role of questions in each section. Questions are powerful tools. They engage the reader or viewer by making them think. A good question can make your audience curious. It can also lead them to reflect on their own experiences. Start each section with a question. This can be rhetorical or open-ended. The goal is to make your audience think about the topic. Questions can also make your content more interactive. When you ask a question, you invite the reader to participate. This makes them feel involved. It also makes your content feel more like a conversation. This can be very engaging. Think about the questions your audience might have. Address these in your intros. This shows that you understand their concerns. It also makes your content more relevant and useful. Section 5 placing answers before the next section. After posing a question, it's important to provide an answer. This ensures that your audience doesn't feel lost or confused. This keeps your content flowing smoothly and maintains the reader's interest. Place the answer at the end of the section. This strategic placement helps in summarizing the information effectively. This makes it easy for the reader to follow along and ensures they grasp the key points. When you answer a question, be clear and concise. Avoid unnecessary jargon that might confuse the reader. Avoid giving too much information at once. Overloading the reader can lead to confusion and disengagement. Break down complex answers into simple steps. This methodical approach makes the information digestible. This makes it easier for the reader to understand and retain the information. Use examples to illustrate your answers. Real-life examples can bridge the gap between theory and practice. This makes abstract ideas more concrete and relatable. It also helps the reader see how the information applies to them in real-world scenarios. Examples can make your answers more relatable and engaging. Transition smoothly to the next section. A well-placed answer can act as a bridge to the next topic. Your answer should lead naturally into the next topic, creating a seamless flow. 
This keeps the reader engaged and makes your content cohesive. A cohesive narrative is key to maintaining interest. A smooth transition maintains the flow of your work, ensuring that your audience stays connected to the material. Section 6. Examples of Effective Call to Actions A call to action, or CTA, encourages the reader to take the next step. It's a crucial element in guiding user behavior. It can be as simple as asking them to comment or share. These small actions can significantly boost engagement. Effective CTAs are clear and direct. They leave no room for confusion. They tell the reader exactly what to do, making the next step obvious. Start with a directive verb. This sets a clear expectation. Words like comment, share, or click are powerful. They prompt immediate action. They make your CTA more compelling and engaging. Make sure the action is easy to follow. Simplicity is key. Complicated instructions can be discouraging. Explain the benefit clearly. Why should the reader take this action? What's in it for them? Will they learn something new? Knowledge can be a strong motivator. Will they contribute to a discussion? Engagement fosters community. Make the benefit clear and appealing. Highlight what they gain. Place your CTA at a logical point. Timing is everything. This is often at the end of a section. It's a natural transition. It's a natural place for the reader to take action. Seamless flow is crucial. Make sure your CTA stands out. Visibility is key. Use a different font or color to draw attention. Make it pop. Section 7. Ideas for surveys and comment questions. Surveys can gather valuable feedback. They help you understand your audience better. A simple survey can be a few questions long. Make sure the questions are relevant to your content. Ask open-ended questions. These encourage detailed responses. For example, what did you find most helpful in this section? This invites the reader to share their thoughts. Use multiple choice questions for quick feedback. These are easy to answer and analyze. For example, which tip did you like best? Provide a few options to choose from. Encourage comments by asking questions. At the end of each section, pose a question. This can be a great way to start a conversation. For example, what are your thoughts on this topic? This invites the reader to engage. Section 8. The balance between informative and engaging. It's important to strike a balance. Your content should be informative but also engaging. Too much information can overwhelm the reader. Too little can leave them wanting more. Start by planning your content. Outline the main points you want to cover. Make sure each section has a clear focus. This helps keep your content organized and easy to follow. Use a mix of short and long sentences. This keeps the reader's attention. Short sentences are easier to read. Long sentences can add depth. Varying sentence length makes your writing more dynamic. Include visuals, images, charts, and videos can break up the text. They also make your content more engaging. Visuals can help explain complex ideas. They can also add interest and appeal. Section 9. Practical Examples and Case Studies Examples and case studies make your content relatable. They show how your ideas work in real life. This makes abstract concepts easier to understand. Use examples that are relevant to your audience. Describe a situation that your audience can relate to. Explain how someone faced a challenge. Then, show how they solved it. This makes your content more practical and useful. Use real-life case studies if possible. These add credibility to your content. They show that your ideas have been tested. Real-life examples are often more convincing. Include quotes from people involved. This adds a personal touch. It also makes your case studies more engaging. Personal stories can be very powerful. Section 10. Common Mistakes to Avoid Avoid starting with vague statements. Your intro should be specific and clear. Vague statements can confuse the reader. They may not know what to expect. Don't overload your intro with information. Keep it brief and to the point. Too much information can be overwhelming. Focus on the main idea of the section. Avoid using jargon. Technical terms can alienate your audience. Use simple language that everyone can understand. This makes your content more accessible. Don't forget to include a hook. An intro without a hook can be boring. You want to grab the reader's attention right away. A good hook makes your intro more engaging. Section 11. Conclusion. Encouragement to practice. Writing good intros takes practice. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try different hooks and questions. See what works best for your audience. The more you practice, the better you'll get. 
Remember the key points. Start with a hook, keep it short, and use simple language. Ask questions to engage your audience. Provide clear answers and smooth transitions.